Hey guys, just want to jump on real quick. We have been um, at a hotel in a town close to us. So um, we got a hotel there. They have a pool and we've been back and forth. Um, but the kids have been swimming for the last couple of days. Yesterday we got back. Um, again, so we are back home. But I, I don't know if I bit on... Um, I was chewing some ice, I was eating some popcorn, I don't know what happened, but one of my molars, um, is broken, um, I do have a really old feeling in that tooth, um, it was actually the first feeling I've ever had, so I was not even a teenager yet, I think I was like, maybe between seven and nine, uh, years old, and I got this feeling, um, it's the second to last tooth, um, back here, um, I don't have my, my wisdom teeth, so it's not one of those, um, but my second to last molar back here, um, and it is, a quarter of it is not even, like, um, touching the rest at the top. I can see a huge, um, gap there, um, but it's like the feeling is holding it in place. I called this morning to my dentist's office, and they told me, that I would need to just give them my phone number and they would call me back if there was a cancellation. She basically said just hope for a cancellation because there's nothing available. I do have an appointment on July 13th. I believe it's the 31st today um, of June. So that's another 14 days away. And so she said that uh, just hope for a cancellation because there's no appointments available closer to the one I already have. Um, and she said she was going to write my, no my name down and put it next to the computer in case it was a cancellation. And there was actually a cancellation today. Um, so I'm very happy about that. I hate going to the dentist. I don't want to go. Um, but my mouth is hurting, like, really bad. You can see it's just a little bit swollen. It is causing me a lot of pain. It hurts all the way back into my ear. Um, I think there's some nerves exposed. I don't know what they can do to fix it. I am missing a tooth up here, my very back one, and then a one right here. Um, I, so I chew on this one a lot. I was told that my very back molar back here is loose. Um, and I don't know what will have to happen back that about that, but um, I was told that a dentist, it, it wasn't loose enough that the dentist was ready to pull it out, and it's not causing me pain. But now this tooth is causing me pain, and I don't know if they can pull it out without causing the back one to have to be pulled out. I'm really, really um, hopeful that they can maybe fill it in with something and save my teeth. Um, but I do try to take very good care of my teeth and um, they just, they aren't holding up for me. Um, not for the lack of trying. Uh, I try to see my dentist regularly, I floss, I brush, but for some reason I just have a lot of issues with my teeth, um, and on top of that I have a lot of anxiety, so I will let y'all know how that goes. It is about 2.30 now, so in two hours I will have a dentist appointment. I just got back from the dentist. It is about to pour here. The sun is out here. It's really cloudy over there. We're about to have a really bad storm come through. Um, but I get to the dentist's office thinking that the um, appointment that was made for my 430 um, was for the pain that I called out this morning. Um, but it was actually to get my tooth filled. My appointment for July 13th was pushed to today because there was a cancellation. So I guess I was like next on the list to have their appointment brought up. Um, so I, I get into the room, the, the, um, tech brought me to the back room. I waited like two seconds before the actual like dentist walked in. He took a, um like a big q-tip with numbing medicine and he stuck it in my mouth on this side um my tooth that's bad as this one right here and i'm like thinking i said 
I'm here for tooth pain. I'm not here for filling. And he's like, oh, well, I have you on the schedule to have your fillings done. And I'm like, I called this morning for pain. So I spoke with one lady when I called about the pain and then someone else called me back. It was a different lady who had called me back. Um, so there was not really a misunderstanding. Um, it was just for two different things. Um, so he looked at my x-rays from two weeks ago and basically said that when this tooth was filled, when I was like really, really young, they filled it all the way, um, to the nerves. Um, and so all I can do is basically go in and well, they can go in and, um, do a root canal. Um, he wouldn't be able to do it. He would have to refer me to, um, a different doctor, like a, a I guess a better doctor, someone who's equipped to do that. Um, I do have Medicaid, so it was a question whether or not Medicaid would pay for it. So they get, they gave me a referral to a dentist that doesn't take Medicaid, um, and then gave me two options to call people who do take Medicaid. So I get to the front and I speak to the lady who does scheduling. She's the lady who called me back. Um, but she also, um, she does a billing for the clinic. So she says, look, your insurance is not going to cover a root canal and it's going to be 800 to $1,200. Um, and I'm like, I already have two teeth that were pulled. One on the bottom here, kind of like in the middle of this part of my jaw and then one in the very back. So I would chew mostly on this side. Um, and the do the dentist told me that it was best if I didn't pull it. It was best if I feel if I forgot a root canal, but I can't afford to get a root canal. I, don't, I can't afford that. Um, so he wrote me a prescription for pain meds and a prescription for, um, antibiotic. So I told her, like, let me just see if he'll pull it out now. And he told her to tell me no, that I have to go through the round of antibiotics before they will extract it. Um, they also wrote me a prescription for Narcos. And some people may be like, oh, yeah, you get Narcos. But Narcos give me, like, a really, really bad headache. Um, they always have. So I can't take them. So, I will be taking a large dose of um, ibuprofen uh, until I get to get this tooth taken out, um, which I haven't taken Tylenol and ibuprofen, and it's just not touching this pain. It is, like, so bad. Um, but, yeah, that is... That is all. <laughs> no solution um, real soon for this pain. Um, not happy about it at all. Um, that storm is just about here. It's coming from back that way. But I'm in pain. I am not happy kind of frustrated but I'm gonna go inside and I'm going to take a bunch of ibuprofen and try to not think about it but thanks for watching everybody you'll be blessed bye